Hello, Compline friends. A uh, quick video about the 2016 Nadal Corpinat Brut Nature. Uh, I think first, it's probably most important to talk about Corpinat. Corpinat is a designation. It's not a geographical appellation like uh, Champagne or Cremant de Jura, but it is a designation for Method Champenoise sparkling wine in uh, Catalonia, Northern Spain. Um, there's a lot of things that make it very special and unique. Uh, I like to say, uh, and sometimes get argued with about this, but that Corpinat, for me personally, as someone who imports a lot of great champagne, I think that uh, Corpinat is the most stringent uh, designation for uh, Method Champenois wine in the world. Um, Corpinat was started in 2018 uh, more or less what I consider to be the uh, top six uh, producers of Method Champenois wine in Spain. We're talking Grimona, Recoredo, Nadal, etc., etc. Um, seceded from Cava and, and started their own designation um, in order to be part of Corpinat. Uh, all fruit has to be certified organic. Uh, all fruit has to be hand harvested. All primary fermentation has to happen in the estate where the fruit is grown. All secondary fermentation and riddling has to happen there. And then extended aging is part of the definition of Corpinat. There's a minimum of 18 months of uh, aging, uh, which is a very long time. <laughs> but uh, I think uh, a, a thing that's important to mention is that in practice, almost everyone in Corpinat uh, goes far beyond that with aging. Um, in the case of uh, uh, Nadal, they are the longest minimum of aging uh, in any one organization. They age all their wines a minimum of three years. This 2016 in front of you is uh, aged for six years, if you can believe it. Uh, so just incredible amount of resources, time, cash flow tied up in the making of these wines. It's an extraordinarily expensive process that requires a lot of uh, equipment, a lot of technical expertise, and and a focus on quality and a specific destination um, versus making quick money as you would with uh, cheap cava and other sparkling wines all over the world. So it's, uh, Corbinat's a very special thing. Uh, Nadal has always been uh, my favorite producer in the region. Uh, they're the oldest producer in Corpinat. They've been uh, making wine on this same vineyard since uh, the 1500s. So it's a, a five-century-old family farm. Uh, they have a hand-dug cellar that's six uh, stories underground, uh, incredibly deep, all natural temperature control for all the fermentation and aging. It's an amazing thing. Um, this wine, the 2016 Brut Nature, is a wine they only make every handful of vintages. It has to occur in a year where the quality of their uh, periata fruit is very high. Um, so uh, this is a wine made of two grapes, periata and uh, Macabeo. And uh, maybe they only produce it every three or four years. Um, and it's a long aging wine. It's a Brut Nature wine, as it says, which means that it has uh, zero dosage. There's zero sugar added to it. Technically speaking, it can have up to three grams, but in practice, this wine uh, ferments completely dry, which is a real treat. That's a, a pretty unusual thing for Method Champenoise wine. Um, for me, it's just a very rare example of a long lees aged wine with uh, really well-developed secondary aromas that can be poured by the glass at a reasonable price. Uh, for me to get a wine of this quality and depth and kind of aromatic intrigue in Champagne uh, or even a uh, Cremant from a top region in France, you'd be spending many, many multiples of this price. I think it's a, a, a genuinely unique wine uh, in terms of its character and in terms of quality um, as well. It's just a very, very special wine at this price. Um, we import uh, about... Uh, four-fifths of what they produce. There's only uh, 2,800 cases of this wine on earth, and uh, I import the vast majority of it into the U.S. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the story. Uh, I think you'll find that uh, compared to Champagne, it has a lot more uh, distinct and kind of exotic aromas. Um, it doesn't have that kind of high-toned, 
um, peachy, uh, biscuity, brioche thing. That's not what this wine does. It's much more mushroomy and savory and, and, and kind of raw honey, saffron, uh, beeswax, uh, ginger, white mushroom. It's very exotic, cool wine. And of course, on the table, it, it, it has a very uh, obvious use. Those uh, bubbles in the wine are going to pull fat off your palate. So it's an exceptional wine uh, for cured meat, for stinky cheeses, for sashimi, for carpaccio. It's, it's brilliant with that. It's also great with fried foods. Um, and of course, as a delicious, uh, friendly priced sparkling wine, it's an exceptional wine to begin a meal with. So um, I don't think you can go wrong. I think people will love it. I've yet to uh, place this wine at a restaurant that, that doesn't have huge success with it. So I'm sure you will too. Thank you for your time. All right, bye.